Alrighty, hello again. So, I uh, I recently had a post deleted from Instagram. So, one of the things that I've been doing is I have been re-granting posts from, from folks from the Fat Acceptance Movement. If you're not familiar with Regran, it's an app that allows you to repost what somebody posts. So, what I would do is you know, post their image along with whatever text they had they had to go with the image and then I would post, you know, my two and a half pennies about what I you know, what I thought about it. So I made a post, you know, where I was so I did that post where I was disagreeing with somebody and the post got taken down for bullying and her and harassment, which is a load of a load of bullshit. So, and then, you know, so I got really upset by that, you know, maybe more upset than I should have, because I really shouldn't get that worked up over social media, but I did. And so I made a post where I said that I was thinking about, you know, just ditching Instagram or at least, you know, taking a break and a whole bunch of people on that post ended up like accusing me of bullying and harassment and all of this. And it's, and it's just re- it's just crazy that we live in this bizarro world where disagreeing with somebody you know can be viewed as harassment it's fucking ridiculous so i want to go ahead and show you the post that i was responding to and kind of tell you about what what my response was cuz i don't have the actual text from my post because it got taken down so let me show you the uh, the person I was responding to and the posting question. So let's get that opened up. So this is the uh, Fierce Fat Femme. So if we look at her profile, you know, critical fat studies theorist. Yeah. If that doesn't sound like a bunch of horse shit, I don't know what does. It's like It's like gender studies. I mean... Anyway, and then here we also see where it says professional crybaby. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because that's what these people do. If they don't like what you have to say, they will they will play the victim and they will get your post and they will flag your post and get it taken down. So the post in question was this post. So yeah, just. I'll let you kind of take in what's going on in this photo. And let me read you the text. Fat people are allowed to eat whatever the hell they want, whenever they want, however they want. Fat people can eat as much as they want, whenever they want. Stop commenting on the food fat people choose to eat. Stop making assumptions about the food fat people eat. Stop staring at fat people eating. Let fat people eat. Fellow fats, resist the urge to make yourself smaller or to make your eating a performance for the thin people around you. Eat however you want. Fuck making yourself more palatable for thin society. So my comment was basically talking about how this post was glorifying obesity and how obesity is bad for your health and and how if if somebody made a post like this, but instead of junk food, it were like cigarettes or alcohol that people would frown upon. And I mean, imagine if you had a post like this where you've got this person surrounded by liquor bottles and then they're taking a swig off of a fucking Jack Daniels bottle while giving the finger. I mean, would people think that post was A-OK or would they think that post was, you know, glorifying binge drinking and alcoholism? But apparently, just saying that this person's glorifying obesity and disagreeing with the message they're putting out there, apparently that's harassment. Which is fucking ridiculous I mean it's just fucking crazy that just disagreeing with somebody counts as harassment and honestly if you are confident that your position is correct you should not fear counter ideas you know an example I like to use is I'm an atheist and I am very confident in my views as an atheist and as, as an atheist and a skeptic, you know, somebody who doesn't believe in the supernatural. So I am not afraid of like, say, 
Christianity. I don't, or like Christian ideas, I should say, Christian views. Like I go out of my way to consume Christianity. You know, I watch Christian programming on TV. I listen to Christian radio stations. I follow various pastors on Instagram. Because I have nothing to fear from their message because I'm confident, I am confident in my view that their view, that, that Christianity is a load of horse shit. So why should I fear? So I'm not going to like be afraid of people talking about Jesus and I'm not going to try and like prevent people from talking about Jesus, you know, because the response to something you disagree with is not to shut it down. The response is to come back with facts and arguments, you know, so, so yeah, and I honestly, I think that these people kind of deep down, they know that they're wrong. And that's why they don't like these counter opinions. They don't like it when people say that obesity is unhealthy because they know deep down that that's really the case. And they don't want to be told that they're putting themselves at risk for diabetes, heart disease, cancer, etc. Because that's exactly what, you, what they're doing. And I mean, you look at the food that's portrayed in this image. It's all junk. So let me show you another post that I had just seen just a little bit ago when I was looking up her profile to make this video. So here we have another post where she's got the same, you know, junk food and everything. So this one says, what do you feel when you see this photo? Does it bring up feelings of guilt or food shame? Do you immediately think that I got fat from eating these foods? Do you feel joy? Do you feel free or scared, alarmed? <clears throat> Whatever the feeling might be, I want us all, even us fatties, to question our beliefs about food, body size, health, and weight stigma. Yeah, I absolutely agree. <clears throat> you absolutely should question your beliefs about food, body size, and health. But you're not really going to do that. Because if you actually sat down and questioned your beliefs, you might actually come to the conclusion that, that the science is correct and that and that junk food and obesity actually are bad for you and put you at risk for diabetes, heart disease, cancers, and an early grave. So, the, so to answer the questions on this post, what do I feel when I see this photo? I feel that this person is glorifying obesity. And... And do I think that, that, that she got fat from eating those things? Absolutely. Because here's the thing. People don't get fat from eating healthy. It just doesn't fucking happen. You never hear of, uh, of people who got fat because they ate too many vegetables. Okay? So I can pretty much guarantee that the kinds of stuff that's shown in that picture, that is not a rare treat for her. That kind of stuff is going to be a, a reasonably regular part of her diet, guaranteed. fucking teed. Because guess what? Not that long ago, I was eating crap like that. I mean, of course, I was eating like the vegan version of it, but I was eating this kind of crap. And I cut that crap out of my diet, and lo and behold, my weight is going down. Imagine that. I cut a bunch of junk food out of my diet, and my weight goes down. Oh, yeah, and something something else to point out about the first photo, something I find interesting. You know, I find it interesting how she's got this sort of like, you know, she's giving the finger like she's got this sort of attitude of like, I don't care, fuck you kind of attitude. But then when somebody calls her out on her shit, she plays the victim. So which is it? Fuck you, I don't care, or are you going to play the victim? Well, of course she's going to play the victim. It says right on her profile that she's a crybaby. So another post of hers that I wanted to address while I'm here is this one. Not finding fatness attractive is, just a, is not just a preference, it's a phobia. Okay, here's the thing. The fact that so many people 
are not attracted to fat people is part of our evolution, okay? We evolved to not find death and disease attractive. We evolved to find fit and healthy people attractive. I mean, you look at other species where, you know, it's it's as far from what I understand, it's usually the male that does this, but the male will go out of their way to demonstrate to the female that they are fit and healthy. <clears throat> Whether it's like a couple of deer, you know, going at it to see who's the who's the biggest and the baddest to try to get the mate, or say it's a peacock with their big ass plumage, because having that big ass vibrantly colored plumage you know, is a sign of health because if the peacock weren't healthy, their plumage would not be as big and vibrant. Also, <clears throat> that plumage does present a disadvantage when it comes to fleeing from predators. So by displaying that big ass plumage, the peacock is basically saying, look how, look how healthy and fit I am. I managed to stay alive despite having this disadvantage. And you see this in pretty much every other fucking species where they're not going to want to mate with a member of the species that's, that's sick. And obesity puts you at risk for all kinds of things. And so, yes, we are like evolutionarily programmed to look at fat people and not find that... And, and not just not find that attractive, but to to find that unattractive, to go, ew, that's disgusting. That's just that's just how we were programmed by evolution. And if you don't like that, too fucking bad. You know, and I'm not going to apologize for not finding obese people attractive. I just don't fucking find them attractive, period. And nobody should ever apologize for their sexual preferences. You just never should. I mean, where do we fucking draw the line? I mean, I imagine that there are people that this person doesn't find attractive. Does this person find, you know, like lean and muscular guys attractive, or women for that matter? Because... How much you want to bet that this person would probably find really skinny people unattractive? Wouldn't surprise me at all. So are they guilty of, you know, skinny phobia or fit phobia or whatever? So yeah, no, people should never fucking apologize for their preferences. And, you know, then of course this isn't the only person who's putting this crap out there. The, uh, the fat sex therapist, Sonali Rashatwar, has actually said that people should watch porn with fat people in it so they can, like, cure themselves of not being attracted to fat people. I mean, fuck me, that sounds like, 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 like gay conversion therapy type of deal. It's just fucking ridiculous. So, so yeah, that's... So yeah, and I mean, yeah, this account is definitely something else. I mean, she's got all this other crap. Oh, like this one here, being fat does not cancel out your other privileges. Check your positionality. You know, it's just progressive horse shit. Health policing people is fat phobic and ableist. Oh, and she's got some posts on here where she's, you know practically naked or topless so i'm not going to show those because i want to spare you the sight but yeah if you want to go check her out she is fierce fat femme on instagram and you can go look at her posts and i really hope other people will um make other posts about her posts so now to get back to let's see here okay so to get back to the the issue with the Instagram. So I, so I ended up making a post on Instagram saying that I was thinking about ditching Instagram or at least taking a break. And I got a bunch of comments on there accusing me of being fat phobic and a bully and all this. 
And it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, here on YouTube, you know, we have response videos where, you know, they'll you'll play somebody's video or at least clips from their video and then respond to what to what they've said, right? It's a pretty standard fare for YouTube. I mean, a good deal of the, honestly, a good deal of the content that I watch is response videos. So, regranting, in my opinion, is just the Instagram equivalent of a response video. And that is in no way bullying, saying, hey, I disagree with what you said or what you posted. That's not bullying. That's not harassment. I never called her I never called her names or anything like that. It's just it's fucking ridiculous. And so so yeah, I mean I'm kind of thinking that I'm probably not going to make posts like that on Instagram anymore just because I don't want to get my account shut down. And, you know, it's pretty fucking sad that here I am thinking of changing about not posting that stuff, not because I was convinced that I was wrong, but because I don't want my account shut down. And that's the thing. These people, they can't fight with facts, so they fight with flags. They can't come back with actual facts to back up their shit, so they just resort to flagging to flagging people's comments. And they bully the crap out of people who have lost weight or no longer agree with their views. I've heard that they can be really fucking brutal. And I'm accused of bullying and harassment? No, 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 no. I mean, I've actually gotten some of this stuff from people where I've had people like like criticize like my appearance it's like what so the fat acceptance movement supposedly has a problem with you know with bullying and harassment and and bagging on people because of their appearance but yet they do that to people that they disagree with yeah they're fucking hypocrites and here's the thing if they have if they actually had facts on their side, you'd think they would employ them. I've asked people a number of people I've asked them if they think that it's possible to be 600 pounds and healthy. I've never gotten a proper answer from these people because I'm sure they know that it's not possible. And if somebody did say that they thought it was possible, I would ask them to back that up with actual data. Because the thing is, when you talk about obesity with these people, they love to kind of shift it to something else. You talk about the dangers of obesity, and then they start talking about how diets fail. And how yo-yo dieting is bad for your health and all this stuff. Or they might talk about how, well, skinny people aren't necessarily healthy, and it's like they're just shifting, shifting it to something else. These people, because they don't have actual facts on their side. I mean, these people never, ever present any data that says that people can be obese and healthy because the data doesn't fucking exist. If there were good, solid scientific data that you could be obese and healthy, you would think that they would be presenting it. I mean, what better... What, I mean... What better way to plead their fucking case than by saying, hey, here's this really well-conducted study that says that you can be obese and healthy. I mean, that would be a fucking boon to their message, don't you think? But they just they don't present that data because as far as I know, it doesn't exist. The data that you're going to find is the data that says that obesity puts you at risk for heart disease and diabetes and 
multiple kinds of cancers and it's bad for your fucking joints and bad for your bones and all this stuff. So yeah, there's a part of me that like just wants to just kind of throw up my hands and say, you know what? Fuck you people. If you want to eat yourself into diabetes in an early grave, go right ahead. But then there's the other part of me that wants to keep fighting. Because we really need to push back against their message. Because what they're promoting is not okay. Promoting this idea that it's perfectly groovy to be to be morbidly obese and that you can eat whatever you want and it doesn't fucking matter. It's ridiculous. And then, of course, they also want to push this narrative that you just need to learn to love yourself and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I think a lot of that is just a fucking facade they build up. Now, speaking for myself, I am definitely happier with my body when I'm not obese. That's just a fact. And I imagine that's probably true of lots of other people. When somebody is morbidly obese and they say that they're perfectly fine in their body, I find that hard to believe. Because I would bet that most of these people, if they were offered a magic pill that would make them lose weight and keep it off permanently while still being able to eat whatever the fuck they wanted, they would probably take the pill. I bet they would. And here, and, and you also, another thing that kind of suggests that they're not in really as happy as they maybe claim is the fact that you see fat acceptance advocates who are of a normal weight, but I have never seen any of these people like go out of their way to make themselves fat. Because if it's a if it's perfectly groovy to be fat, then why not make yourself fat? So yeah, this this video has already run on twenty minutes, so I am done with my ramble. I think. So yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna be not making those kind of posts on Instagram anymore. I'm kind of debating on creating a second, another Instagram account just for that kind of stuff. So if it gets taken down, no biggie. But I think really what I need to do is if I see something on Instagram that I want to comment on, I'll just make a video. Because honestly, I think that's going to be a better choice, and I'm not going to have to worry as much about you know stuff. So that is it for this video, and for those of you who watch it, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next one.